Hi, welcome to Benchling's SQL training video series. In today's video, we will be talking about functions with partitions as well as JSON manipulation. So the specific topics we'll be discussing today are window functions. Specifically, we'll be going over aggregate functions with partition statements, JSON manipulation, and finally, a query using Benchling's Insights application. Our first topic is functions with partitions. So oftentimes you may be finding yourself using standard aggregate functions. These include sum and average as common examples. So if we look at the query on the screen, we see that we're using our myosin motor protein data set and selecting ID color and procession rate. Perhaps we wanted to know the sum of all the procession rates for all the myosin motor proteins of a specific color. The way we do that is we'd use we'd sum procession rate over a partition by color. This would get us the column that we're now calling total procession rate. Just remember that when you're using these aggregate functions, the the calculated value is going to show up per row rather than per group. So each myosin motor protein in the color partition will have the total procession rate as an additional column. So let's take a look at explaining this concept with an output from an example query. So we see that in this query, we have myosin motor proteins with three different colors, blue, green, and red. So let's remember that our query was partitioning by color. That means that in the calculate, calculation of the sum of the procession rate, only the blues are calculated together, only the greens are calculated together, and then the reds are calculated together. So here we see that the procession rate of the first myosin motor protein is 30. And the cumulative speed in this case is going to be 30 as this is the first myosin motor protein. As we include the second myosin motor protein, this cumulative speed increases by 43 and is essentially a running sum to account for the fact that we have now calculated two myosin motor proteins with a procession rate of 30 and 43 respectively, and so on and so forth. So we see by the end of our sixth myosin motor protein, we have reached a sum of 336. This is a running sum of all the calculated myosin motor proteins with procession rate in ascending order. Let's talk about JSON manipulation. At Benchlinks, we sometimes store data in a non-normalized way. That is, we store multiple values in a single cell rather than using a separate table and let, letting the user join it in. Unfortunately, this means that in some cases, you have to use JSON functions to get the data that you need. So in this case, we see that we're using our myosin motor protein data set and we are selecting JSON and using our JSON blob array elements text function to convert our genes and plasmid columns from a JSON data format to a text data format. This means that any of the values in the genes and plasmid column that may have been stored in a JSON format are now stored as text. Furthermore, we can use a dash and a greater than operator if you want to get each value as a column instead of a row. If you'd like to do so, use this operator. In general, if you have a lot of values, you should get them as rows. And if you have very specific values and only those, you should get them as columns. Now, what does a query look like using Benchling Insights? 
So here we have a query in our Insights application. What we're gonna be going over today is comparing what a running sum looks like compared to a total procession rate sum. So in, the, in this case, we are averaging, sorry, we are averaging procession rate and partitioning by column, by color, and ordering by procession rate ascending as a running procession rate average. Our last column is taking the average of the procession rate and partitioning by color, but we are not ordering by procession rate. So how do these differ? In the first case, we see that within the first partition, we're partitioning by color blue, we see that the running procession rate average is actually a running average of the myosin motor proteins within this partition. So we see that the average of 30 and 43 is 36.5. And as we add the third and each subsequent procession rate, we see that the running procession rate average is an updated running average of the myosin motor proteins in this partition. However, if we just want a total procession rate average where each myosin motor protein within the partition displays the average of the myosin motor proteins within the partition and is not a running average, we simply do that by including the partition by color but omitting the, the order by statement. This yields all of the myosin motor proteins in this partition as having the same total procession rate average. 